Hello everyone. Today, February 13, 2022, we celebrate 143rd birth anniversary of Sarojini Naidu. Also, we Indian celebrate this day as National Women's Day to recognize the powerful voice of women in Indian history. So, let's begin this pompous function with the help of Almighty. I invite Jasna for the prayer song. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together in love. There is only one God. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together in love. Now, I invite Swadi to deliver the welcome speech. I am extremely happy for this opportunity to address you all on this auspicious occasion of birth anniversary of Sarojini Naidu. We Indians celebrate February 13 as National Women's Day. It appears as a celebration of respect, appreciation, love and care towards women. I feel privileged to welcome everyone to this function. First of all, I kindly welcome our beloved principal Lindsay Miss to this function. Next. I kindly welcome our manager, Sister Jaya Rose, to this function. Next, I kindly welcome our Vice Principal Legamis to this function. At last, but not the least, I kindly welcome all other teachers and my dear friends. In order to pay tribute to our Nightingale of India, Sirojini Naidu, we had conducted a poem recitation competition. Now we can watch certain glimpses of the competition. Hi, myself Amala Jwala David and the title of my poem is Song of a Dream. It's written by Sarojini Naidu, the Nightingale of India. Once in the dream of a night I stood, lone in the light of a magical wood, soul deep in visions that poppy light sprang. And spirits of truth were the birds that sang. And spirits of love were the stars that glowed. 
and spirits of peace were the streams that flowed in the magical wood in the land of sleep thank you the cradle sung by sarojini naidu from grosses lies our face surprise advert the lotus stream i bring for you again with dew a little lovely dream today i am reciting the poem the palanquin bearers by sarojini naidu Lightly, oh lightly, we bear her along. She sways like a flower in the wind of her song. She skims like a bird on the form of a string. She flows like a laugh from the lips of a dream. Gaily, oh gaily, we glide and we sing. We bear her along. like a pearl on a string softly or oh softly we bear her along she hangs like a star in the dew of our song she springs like a beam on the brow of a tide she falls like a tear from the eyes of a bride lightly or oh lightly we glide and we sing we bear her along like a pearl on a string thank you Next program is the biography presentation of Sarojini Naidu. Sarojini Naidu was an Indian political activist and poet. She was born on 13th February 1879 in Hyderabad. Sarojini Naidu's birthday is celebrated as National Women's Day of India on every year. She was completed her education from Madras, London and Cambridge. Sarojini Naidu and other female are joined the Salt Satyagraha march at the time Gandhi ji was not give permitted to join females because he afraid they were arrested in 1913 April 6 Gandhi ji was arrested and he selected Sarojini as the new leader of the campaign In 1925 she was appointed as the president of international congress because naidu's political and educational abilities she was the first president of international congress after that she went to south africa as the representative of india in 1932 in 1906 she addressed international congress and social conference held at calcutta Sarojini had a close relationship with Gopal Krishna Gogle and Rabindranath Tagore. After that, she joined Gandhi's Satyagraha movement against British rule. Her father was Bengali Brahmin and the principal of Hyderabad College. He done his doctorate of science from Edinburgh University. Sarojini's mother was a Bengali poet. In 18 1998 she married Govind Raju Naidu he was a general physician it is an intercaste marriage she was very intelligent at the age of 30 she written a poem called lady of the lake she was born in a bengali family in hyderabad Sarojini Naidu also known as Nightingale of India or Bharat Kavila because of her poems her writing style is traditional and simple She participated in the international movement for the independence of the country. Sarojini Naidu was the first woman to become the governor of state India. Naidu governed Uttar Pradesh from 15th August 1947 to 2nd March 1949. She died of a heart attack on March 2nd 1949 while working in her office in Lucknow. last i am inviting ansi to deliver the vote of thanks 
It gives me an immense pleasure to deliver this vote of thanks for this event. Today, we celebrated the birth anniversary of Sarojini Naidu, who was an Indian political activist and poet. In India, this day we celebrated as National Women's Day. First of all, I would like to thank the Almighty God for His blessings. A sincere gratitude to our beloved Principal Lindsay Ma'am and Vice Principal Lega Ma'am for their wholehearted support. Our teacher educator Jasmine Miss, who provided us all the guidance and supported us to celebrate this day. A heartfelt thank you, ma'am. We are also thankful to our teacher educators and classmates beside the participants for making this day a grand success. Once again, I thank all those who watched this program and encouraged us. Thank you.